Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back. I am right outside of BJ's Wholesale, about to go in and shop and take you guys along with me. This video has been highly requested. You guys want a little help on what to get at the store when you're meal prepping. So this is what I do, um, where I go, and what I get for my meal prep. The way that I've done this has been super efficient, and I'm really excited to share this with you because I've been working on it for quite a few years now to try to get the science down of what exactly Donic and I like for meal prep, um, what is most cost effective, and what's the easiest. So I typically shop for my meal prepping um, at wholesale stores. If you guys are not familiar with wholesale stores, there's stores like BJ's where I'm at right now, Costco or even Sam's Club, and they pretty much carry groceries in bulk, grocery items, all kinds of products, cleaners, all kinds of things they actually carry, not just groceries. So if I go to BJ's, Costco, whatever, I will go twice a month. That's all I need. So I will stock up on everything whenever I go and then for two weeks I'm set for the whole two weeks with groceries. I love wholesale shopping and I hope that you guys, this video will help encourage you to, if you aren't already wholesale shopping, to go ahead and wholesale shop because it is very cost effective and super, super helpful. So before I bore you with any more of my talking, let's go shopping. So this is the total amount, 183. Alrighty, I made it back home. I'm sitting down, because I'm exhausted. Ugh. Grocery shopping is just so fun. I have set everything up to show you guys exactly what I've got, quantity amounts, everything, so you guys can hopefully get some inspiration or maybe even go out to your own BJ's and get this stuff as well. So here we go. So we have these sandwich thins. I use these for Yannick's lunch. I got a pack of two, um, one for one week and then the other for the other week. These Yannick really likes in his lunch. I make him a turkey sandwich with cheese, lettuce, and mayonnaise, just a little bit. Next we have the organic spring mix. This is the Wesley Farms um, brand. You'll notice that I get a lot of the BJ's brand um, stuff because it's really cheap and it's actually really good quality. So the only thing that I hate about shopping wholesale is that you really have to pay attention to expiration dates because they just put things out and it could be one day until it's old. So you have to really watch the use by dates whenever you're shopping wholesale and I've realized that at both BJ's, Costco, and even Sam's Club so you just have to be careful. I like to make salads with this mainly for my lunches. Uh, Yannick, I'll put some of the mixed greens in his sandwich but um, this is a really good hefty size of lettuce that um, will last us for about two weeks. Sometimes if I'm making a lot of salads during the week then I have to get another one but today I just wanted to get just one. All right, so I also picked up some Black Forest trail mix. This is one of my favorite trail mixes, Yonix as well. Um, this is like a treat, really, especially if we're trying to eat clean because of the chocolate. There's dark chocolate in here, um, and then the dried cranberries. Oh yeah, the dried cherries are like to die for. They're so good. I got the yellow nectarines. I typically don't like to buy a lot of the um, fruits from wholesale stores because I feel like they're never good but I found out that at BJ's there's been like a couple of fruits that I'll get, like some grapes or some peaches that are really good. So I'm gonna try this out and see what it's like, but this is good for like a little midday snack. If ever I'm craving something sweet, this is what I go to, is something fruity. And then next I got the black beans, the Goya black beans. Now I 
personally prefer the organic um, black beans just because I tried to have less preservatives as possible in my stuff, but this is all that they had at BJ's. I'll have about four different meal preps with these beans. Um, I think I might have two more in my pantry right now, so that is five. So these guys are key ingredients for my meal prep combination. I love the green peppers and then the red, yellow, and orange peppers as well. I'll chop these up with some onions and they will be my source of vegetables for my little meal prep combination meal. You guys have watched my mukbang with Yannick. This is where I got this stuff from. They're really good and I usually cook them like right away. I stir fry it with a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. What I got is the Silk Almond Milk. I don't really like the Silk brand, but this is what BJ's carries, so I've kind of just gotten accustomed to it. I really like the Almond Breeze Almond Milk brand because I feel like it's just better. Um, I like the unsweetened one because it has less calories and I don't really need it to be very sweetened. Usually if ever I'm using our almond milk, it's in protein shakes or in cereal. So yeah, this package comes with, as you can see, two and a half gallons. So they're half gallons and I get four of them because we drink a heck of a lot of milk. All right, then over here I have, this is a pound and a half of smoked turkey breast. I like to get this at the deli because it's one pretty reasonably priced. This is a 904 for a pound and a half, which is good. Usually if you buy other meats that are packaged, it's a whole lot more than that. So um, I do like that BJ's has a deli and it's pretty fresh. And then along with the smoked turkey breast, I got the provolone um, cheese. I got half a pound of the provolone cheese and then the price for that is 275. So it's a pretty decent amount. And then this, these bulk will last me for about two weeks. I went ahead and picked up some of the ground turmeric because I really have been researching a lot about turmeric and all the benefits that it can do for your body. Yeah, I decided to try this out. I think I'm gonna put this in my teas in the morning and I may add this to spice up my chicken uh, for my meal prep, maybe put some on my peppers just depending on how I feel, but we're gonna give it a try. All right, so I got the Wesley Farm brand lemon, and then I got the limes, which I'll be using for my meal prepping. I like to put limes on the side with avocado and cilantro, so. So this is the cage-free eggs. They're large brown. Yannick eats two eggs in the morning for breakfast. I don't know why I'm trying to open it for you. I don't know what the eggs look like. All right, so then this is what I use to cook all of my chicken for my meal prep. This is a thin sliced chicken breast from Purdue. This I, I was trying to show you guys in the store, but you again have to pay attention to the date because I was picking up some that were gonna be expired tomorrow and it is just horrible having meat that goes bad the day after you buy it. It's just, it's not fair. Um, unless you're gonna cook it up right away, but I'm not gonna cook this up tonight. So yes, I like to get the thin sliced chicken breast because I feel like sometimes for some reason the chicken breasts when it's just the normal chicken breast, they're really fatty and really tough and I don't like it. So the thinly slice allows it to, I feel like, absorb more flavor. And yes, you have less meat, but that's kind of what I already want to do. A lot of meat is not good for you, so um, that's why I like to also get the thin sliced breast as well. So, before I forget, I went to Walmart before I went to BJ's to pick up a couple things and as I passed through the produce, produce section, I decided to pick up what I usually can't find at BJ's, um, the cilantro. Then I got the avocados because they are so much better in Walmart or any other grocery store than wholesale stores for some reason. I don't know why that is, but I've tried so many times to try to get good avocados at Costco or BJ's and I'm always <sighs> failed. So yes, I got some avocados there totally not ripe yet and that's perfect because I'm not ready to eat them until a couple days from now. So that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm really hoping that this video helped a little bit because I know that shopping for food can be overwhelming in general and then on top of it, trying to shop for meal prep is even more overwhelming and sticking to a budget, there's a lot of factors. So I just wanted to share this with you because this 
is what works for Yannick and I and has really helped us the past couple years to save money. Keep in mind that I spent $100 every two weeks. So usually that's $200 a month. Sometimes a little bit more than that, like 250, 300 at most. But that's how much I usually spend for groceries for my family of two. All these things that I bought today will last me for two weeks and then some things that I bought like the seasoning or the black beans will last me even longer than that. So just keep that in mind, you know, when you're going out to eat, you don't realize how much you're spending and it does add up. And I'm not saying I don't ever eat out because I do, but most of the time, especially during the week, those five days a week, breakfast, lunch, and dinner at home. And that saves so much money because this is what I'm getting. Anyway, thank you guys again. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye. Just like that. Just like that. Perfect. Thank you. That's fine. I watch YouTube all the time. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, people are running around and it's scaring me. See everything and so that I can take a thumbnail. What are you doing? What are you doing? We're dog sitting. And this is blue. Yeah, you want to be in the video? That's why you were scratching your claws at me? Huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're so sweet.